I don't necessarily need to be like enlightened every time I go see a movie. I just need to be entertained. And that's what this movie did. Let's talk about Black Adam again for just a minute. I know we already talked about it once today, but we're going to talk about a different aspect of Black Adam. And that would be uh, Black Adam's review scores. Um, seems pretty clear cut, but as I said in a, a story earlier, there is quite the split there. Black Adam's Black Adam marks. Let's give a, a few stats real quick. Black Adam marks Dwayne Johnson's biggest box office opener in the U.S. as a leading man. So that's cool. With I think he had sixty-seven million dollars in the U.S., one hundred and forty worldwide as of the weekend. The film has been widely panned by film critics. Its Rotten Tomatoes score is 39% from 219 review on, reviewers. Audiences, though, appear to be responding more favorably. Johnson has reportedly touted the movie's 90% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, which is the highest audience score for a DC theatrical film since Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. Now, that is something because we got a 39 from the critics. <clears throat> which I'm a critic. <laughs> I gave it higher than a 39. 90 from the audience. That shows that there is a divide between there. Either that or it's being review bombed, which I hate that term because people are always, anytime something's getting bad or oh, something that's particularly beloved by certain people, it's, it's being review bombed. Nobody's really saying this is being review bombed. But, um... Yeah, critics not loving the movie, but the world, the rest of the world, everybody else, they're digging it. I think that's pretty cool. Um, apparently, The Rock went to Instagram, I think that's, or maybe Twitter. He went to one of those places, and he said a huge thank you to the fans for our amazing 90% audience score for Black Adam. Johnson wrote on Twitter. It was Twitter. Um, highest audience score for a DC theatrical film since Dark Knight. As always, the fans matter most, and we're always committed to deliver for them. So make sure you stay till the end credits. Now, I like that. He had more to say. That's what I like about The Rock, and I, I gotta agree with what he's saying there. And this is coming from a critic. This is coming from someone who wants you to come and listen to my views on movies and make a decision. Well, I don't care if you make a decision, but just, I just want you to come watch my videos and I review movies. Um, so yeah, I want you to listen to my critical response to a film. However, it kind of, I like the fact that he's saying, fuck the critics. That doesn't matter. What matters is everybody else. The people are who, we didn't make this movie for critics. We made it for the fans. We made it for people. And you guys are loving it at 90%. And I think it's great. And he's absolutely got something to be proud of there. Earlier in the weekend, Johnson called the 90% audience score for Black Adam so gratifying for so many reasons, adding thank you for all so much for all the love and support. In the end, the only thing that matters to me is sending the people home happy, and that's what I'll always fight for. You know what? That's commendable, in my opinion. I think that's awesome. That's that's. You have these people that always want these high critic raves and reviews and all that. I mean, I, I think if you make something, you want everybody to like it. Of course, you want people to say good things. But when you have, like, the critics kind of pretty much bashing your film, but then everybody else, because the people have a voice now with things like Rotten Tomatoes and all that, and they're putting out there that, hey, the people are loving it, and you're just, he's humble enough to come out there and say, you know what, you, I don't really give a shit about them because you guys are who we made it for. I think that's great. That's awesome. And if that, if Black Adam, movies like this that were really fun, if you just, you know, pull the stick out of your ass and have a good time with it, uh, these movies are really fun. If that's what we got, if that's what the filmmakers have to be, that's the mindset they got to be in, is that, hey, we're doing this for the fans, not the critics. Not all the bullshit. We're doing it for the people who want to go see these movies and love them. If we get movies like this because of that, that are passionate and fun, please continue doing that. Because I don't give a fuck what critics say, myself included. Just keep making fun-ass movies that are entertaining, because that's what the fuck movies are supposed to be. I don't need Schindler's List for everything. Love Schindler's List, by the way. But I don't need every movie to be Schindler's List. I don't need it to have the deepest, most gratifying story. I need it to be a fun, entertaining overall ride. And that's what Black Adam was, man. It was a good time. You go in there and you watch fucking superheroes beat the shit out of each other for an hour and a half, two hours. And you come out with a smile on your face having a good time. That is what the movie delivered. That's what it set out to do. It didn't have to be anything more or less than that. And that's what it did. 
and they did it for the fans and it's paying off it's paying off in spades because the fans are saying fuck yeah we love this thing um he also said i've been saying for some time there's a new era in the dc universe that's about to begin what i really meant by this is the new era in the dc universe is listening to the fans and doing our best to give the fans what they want. Now this ties into a story I did a couple of weeks ago where he said a lot of that stuff. Now he was jump like, you know, he was all over the place with his messaging and that one thing that I did, and I think I mentioned that. But that's pretty much what he was saying is, you know what, we're we're listening to you guys now. Um, and then listening to the fans does not always mean giving them exactly what they say they want, but figuring out what they want and giving that to them. Because if you just give fans exactly what, if, the, if you let the fans dictate specifically what you're gonna put in your movies, does not always work out great. But if you read between those lines and give them what they actually want, what they need, if you will, I think you come out with something good like Black Adam. Black Adam was not the best movie in the world, okay? But it was a really fun fucking movie. It was entertaining, and that's what I pay for when I when I do pay to go see movies. I, I pay to be entertained. Not, I don't necessarily need to be like enlightened every time I go see a movie. I just need to be entertained, and that's what this movie did. So I think it's really cool that he's calling that out and also telling everyone thanks. As you typically hear, I'm only talking about critic side of that, you know, review I share there. So I think it's really cool that they're calling out the, the audience side and saying, you know what, you guys are what matter, so thanks. I don't give a shit about that 39%. I care about that 90% from you guys. So yeah, man, that, that for me should be all anyone should need to see. Sometimes, a lot of the times, you'll see critic scores and audience scores. Audience scores usually higher, honestly. It's usually a bit higher and critic scores a little bit lower in pretty much everything. But they're usually pretty close. When you have this much of a parity between like like 90 and 39, that's huge. That should make you say, what's going on here? What what what's happening? Either A, the audience is lying or B, the critics not lying, but one of them is wrong. So, that should show you that there's a big there's a divide here and just ask yourself, who do you align with mostly? Other people out there that you talk to, just friends, family, the people, or critics. Which one is it? That'll probably tell you all you need to know as far as Black Adam's concerned. So, yeah. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, other people that are involved in this movie in DC, man, just keep that mindset and keep going. And I think you guys will finally be successful with the DCEU. But let me know in the comments below if you guys think that I'm full of shit. And that uh, if you think Black Adam was a piece of shit. And... <laughs> That 39 is, is more representative of the quality of the film. Or if you're like me and say, hell yeah. That's what matters is all the people out there. Because that's who the movie... That's who that's who pays for the movie. Hell, most of these critics didn't even pay to see it. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, that's who's paying for it. Listen to them. Jesus. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. 